Three days later, at 10.15 on a Tuesday morning, Johnny Clay began the final preparations. You want somebody to play with? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm just looking for a friend. Oh, you patser. You missed the move. Night to night, to night five, one takes night. Rook takes rook, queen to rook, four check. King to bishop. Go one. away, bother someone else. You don't know what you're talking. He couldn't do that. You don't know what you're talking. Shut up, Patser. Make a move. He's right. I could have won your rook. Move, Patser. Look, stop talking or I'll call Fisher. I can't think with all this noise. Good game, Maurice. John, hey, my old friend. How are you? Good to see you, Maurice. Been a long time, huh? How long have you been out? Oh, not very long. It was very difficult, no? Yeah. Very difficult. You have my sympathy, Jean. You have not yet learned that in this life you have to be like everyone else. The perfect mediocrity. No better, no worse. Individuality is a monster, and it must be strangled in its cradle to make our friends feel comfortable. You know, I often thought that the gangster and the artist are the same in the eyes of the masses. They are admired and hero worshipped, but there is always present underlying wish to see them destroyed at the peak of their glory. Yeah, like the, um, like the man said, life is like a glass of tea, huh? Oh, Johnny, my friend, you never were very bright, but I love you anyway. How, uh, how's life been treating you, Maurice? About the same as always, Johnny. When I need some money, I go out and rest. But mostly I'm up here, wasting my time playing chess. But you know, I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I didn't have this place to come to. Maurice, could you use $2,500? It has a pleasant ring to the ear. Quiet music. What is it for? We're taking care of a half a dozen private dicks, racetrack cops. I want you to start a fight with the bartender at the track. The track cops will try to break it up. You keep them busy for as long as you can. Make them drag you out of the place. No gunplay, strictly a muscle job. Would it be out of order for me to ask for what it is that you are willing to pay such a price to see me demonstrate my talents? I would imagine it is for more than just your own personal entertainment. $2,500 is a lot of dough, Maurice. Part of it's for not asking questions. That sounds not unreasonable. Still, I will probably go to jail, and jails I found unpleasant. What is very bad? Company is poor. Beds are too small. Ah, it'll only be a disorderly conduct charge. Maybe 60 days, nothing worse. And if a man has a little money to spread around in the right places, he can be quite comfortable for his stay. I do not quite understand, Johnny. For what you want me to do, you could get any hoodlum for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't want any hoodlum. I want a guy like you, someone who's absolutely dependable, who knows he's being well paid to take a risk and won't squawk if the going gets rough. I was thinking if perhaps we can work out some other arrangement. 2,500, I like very much. But suppose I were willing to forgo part of it and take a share in your uh, enterprise instead. No? No. It's not mine to share up. Very well, Johnny. Now, since there will be certain details to work out. Yeah. I'll buy a cup of coffee. Huh? 